F11 members and welcome to the field trial for issue 83. Except we're not in a field. I'm here in the office and this morning I'm going to be introducing you to the benefits of working with a graphics tablet. So this is the Wacom Intuos Pro graphics tablet. It's got a working area about 30 centimeters wide by 20 centimeters tall and it's a tool I've got so used to using that when I have to go back to editing pictures using a mouse I really struggle. It's a really windy wet soggy day here in Melbourne Port you can probably hear some of the sound of the wind in the background, uh, but it's perfect for getting down to doing a bit of image editing. So what are the benefits of using a graphics tablet? Well, essentially it enables us to be much more precise about making selections and using tools such as the adjustment brush. So this graphics tablet is touch sensitive. I can use it for navigating around the screen, making adjustments if I want to, just with my finger. I can also zoom in just expand by either expanding or pinching the picture to check my focus. Also down the edge of the tablet here we have keys which are customizable. So for example, I've customized this top one on the lower bank here to be my shift key. So for example, when I'm using a grad filter, I hold down the shift key there and then I just drag in my grad filter, keep that ensures it's absolutely level, uh, just as, a, as the shift key would on the keyboard. But of course the graphics tablet is really all about using this, the stylo or pen, whatever you want to call it, to basically make adjustments. Now I can use the pen here just for some, you know, sli my sliders here, bringing back those highlights there. Uh, you just grab, just as you would with a mouse, uh, it's just touch sensitive on the, on the tablet and you can control all the sliders that way but it really comes into its own when you start using the adjustment brush. So to illustrate what I mean I'm going to use the adjustment brush here just click one tap of my pen to select the adjustment brush here uh, and now what I can do is using this radial dial here just press this button and to select brush size and then using the radial dial here moving my finger either clockwise or anti-clockwise I can adjust the size of my brush there and now if I click on down here show selected mask overlay I then just start painting in the area I want to select and this is so much in my mind so much easier than using a uh, mouse and I can be so I don't know it just feels right then again I've been working this way for so many years I've just I've just got used to it so there you are I've made that selection I then click off show selected mask overlay and then I pull back my highlights there in the sky and my exposure But to really show you the flexibility of the graphics tablet, I've come into Photoshop now and I've got two images here which I want to merge using mask layering. It's the same image actually that uh, is in part two of the fundamentals of post-production this month. So what I'm going to do is basically just select and paste one on top of the other. So if I go to the darkest image here, select cut and close and then paste it on top 
And then basically what I want to do is select the area of the image that I want to see to uh, apply the layer mask to. So I'm going to use the, here we go, the lasso tool here. And this is where I find the tablet so useful, making selections like this. So I can draw right along the line of the horizon here. I can be much more precise if I need to be with my selections, doing it this way. And I'm just going to select the sky there and then apply the layer mask here. And do you see how easy it is making selections doing it this way? But the pen is also pressure sensitive. So for example, if I zoom in on the image and I want to take out some detail, so for example, I'm going to take out this post here. Just move me to the right area that I want to go to. I do still use the keyboard, by the way. I know you could just use the graphics tablet, but I, you get into a way of working the two together, or I have anyways. Um, so there's an electricity pylon here, which I'm going to take out, and I'm going to use the content aware fill brush here. And Again, I can just use this radial dial here to select the size of my brush. That's really useful. But beyond that, when I'm using my, just select the right layer here. When I'm using the brush itself, I can, it's touch sensitive. So if I go with a really light touch, the size of the brush is tiny and if I increase the pressure it increases the size of the brush. It means you can be so precise with your uh, editing with things like the adjustment brush and making selections. So that's the essence of a graphics tablet. Wacom are not the only manufacturers of course uh, and there's also the option of using iPads as a graphics tablet as well. Uh, certainly worth investigating. I personally couldn't do without mine.